a neighborhood rich with history. Even if some of it was created only in the 1970s as part of a marketing ploy to play up its heritage. Gastown is one of Vancouver's most loved and historically significant neighborhoods. Gastown is loved, but it's also just a few very cramped blocks that lead into the heart of downtown, which means the streets are always busy and the wear and tear is showing. Improperly maintained infrastructure and the lack of a clear, cohesive plan for this neighborhood has had an impact on residents, businesses, and visitors alike. It's why the city announced a new plan for Gastown today, one that could involve a lot less cars rounding this awkward intersection. So the centerpiece of the vision includes pedestrianizing Water Street, looking at the options to make it either car free or car light on a seasonal or on a year round basis. Fixing the potholes and consultations to study banning vehicles on Water Street and making Cordova a two way street to deal with the traffic spillover. If it sounds familiar, that's because it is. In 2017, the city proposed pretty much the same thing. But after an initial round of consultation, the idea died. This time, councillors promise it will be different. Right now, the stars have aligned that we have a council that is willing to invest in, in uh, our neighbourhoods and really takes the importance of public space and building our communities and supporting our small business seriously. The size of that investment? $10 million. That's enough to pave over a lot of potholes, but whether it will pave over traditional conflicts over removing space for vehicles, a question that will take a longer time to assess as the city prepares for another round of consultation. Justin McElroy, CBC News, Vancouver.